All right, welcome back to another episode of Farthest Frontier. Uh, we're going to go for another hour and a half, uh, maybe or so today. Um, and we're just going to continue off where we left off. Um, I know that last episode I was getting a little frustrated with just kind of... We're closing in on, on kind of feels like the end of what we can really do, what we can experience in the early access. Um, I, I don't... I'm not trying to make it sound like this is the end, but it might be, like, this might be the last couple of episodes, uh, just because we're kind of getting into a point where it's, there's not a whole lot left to do um, in-game without it just being, you know, repetitive and just, just now managing, you know, there's no more building, it's, it's just manage what we've got without, or, you know, expand out, I mean, we could definitely expand and keep expanding, but it's, I'm feeling a little, um, I don't want to say burnt out, but I'm, I'm feeling a little, uh, grind uh, it's 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 feeling like that that end of that grind is 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 near um you know or end of that uh um usefulness of the game at least for now uh there's not nothing else really to add other than that so uh, we'll see how much more we can do um uh, we might expand out and i guess we could expand right we can still expand out um and I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, if you are um, watching on YouTube, I, I am. I do play live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Ostergram. You can come hang out on the weekends. I play in the morning, 11 a.m. Uh, ish. Right now it's 10, 10 in the morning, so it's kind of flexible as far as when I kind of want to get into it and just keep going. Um, and one one in the afternoon, and uh, try to do around seven o'clock in the after in the evenings, uh, Pacific time. And that's Saturdays and Sundays, and then Fridays I will do a uh, review of a portable PC game, and uh, typically whatever else I can find on Fridays. And during the week, I try to get on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7 o'clock, for my Microsoft Flight, Flight Sim World Tour, which I yeah, think that's another game that's kind of feeling, uh, feeling a little... Uh, I guess the best word to describe it is bored. I'm getting bored with it. Um, so I want to find something new. But uh, I do have a server ready for RL Craft. As soon as I get some friends to uh, together that we can we can set up a day, um, I'm hoping Fridays in the evenings uh, we'll do an RL Craft modded Minecraft. Anyways, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Uh, make a comment. Let me know if you think that something else I need to do or should do um, to make this better. Maybe um, something to encourage uh, the growth of the city or encourage the, the, <laughs> the boredom or d discourage the boredom that I'm getting with it. So, you know, help me out here. Um, yeah. So, one thing I do remember uh, we needed to note was upgrading the healer's house to a hospital. So that's a biggie that we're going to try and go for. And we're needing the brick, and we need... We got the planks. Definitely have the gold. Um, we don't have the brick because we've got, already got brick over-allocated here. So it's... Um, the brick house that needs to do the work for the brick house, brick yard. We need to do the work to get the brick out. Um, we did set up a second clay pit, which, oh, I didn't realize that clay pit didn't have that much clay. Okay, well, that's alright. Uh, that's okay. That, that old, how much clay do you need for five to create five bricks? That's fine. One to one. Um... Like, I don't... It's hard to... Uh, so none of the other ones are, are setting traps. So this one's doing tra uh, doing it in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to have him just set traps. And... Um, the other one shouldn't have any traps out. I do know that there are traps out. Um... So, 
I'm, I'm hoping that this is going to be like a super deterrent, and it's just going to confuse the the um, <laughs> the raiders that are going to come here, and they're just going to be like, "We want to go this way because this makes sense." You know, they're going to see all of these gates, and they're just going, to, "Oh, gates! We want to go towards gates or something stupid." But I think, again, if we get more raiders, we're definitely going to get it on this side. Because that's just the way the game is. is it, it determines your weakest side and uh, goes after it, of course. Why wouldn't it? I mean, that's the way real raiders would do it, too, right? So. Um, okay, I thought I had set somebody there already yesterday. <sighs> okay, so another villager died. And, and this is kind of the difficult thing. It's like we got to figure out. It's just, it, there's a lot of management on top of management that we got to figure out what we're doing. Um, okay. yeah, it's like I don't. haven't caught in a game in a while, which means that they need to go further back, I assume, because maybe... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how much of it's kind of just... Well, it's not really that bad. Um, deer sighted. No number, though. Even though I see two. Uh, it's probably not adult deer. Uh, he needs weapons. What is our? Oh, we have, we have so many pelt. Okay, we have, we have a ton of gold. I wish I knew where all that gold was. And that's the other weird. That's a weird thing. Like, where does the gold get stored? Um, I was watching the ambiguous amphibian. He was watch. He was playing um, a song of six. And which looks good. It looks like a good game, but I uh, definitely not something I want to do because that was just—it's too too micromanaged. Like it's super super deep, and I don't have that. Um, the, the graphics aren't there, and it's super deep, so it's just—it becomes like kind of hard to appreciate. I think it's, it's a good word to describe it. It's difficult to appreciate a song of six. Anyways, my point was <laughs> he was wondering like what ha where does all the gold go? Um why is two thousand gold here? Where's the rest of my gold? I don't know. It's not the rat catcher house. Um And it's not in the warehouse. Where does the gold go? It's not. It's not in the storage cart. Um. <laughs> Luxury. Uh, express a desire for more household items. Try building a pot or building. I have. Oh, well, they want glass maker. Okay. And we have a furniture maker, we have a glass maker. And we could start giving more people to f make furniture, but. Oh, it takes 12 uh, planks to make one f furniture? That's a little. heavy. Um, I'd say. How much sand do we have? Not much sand, because we've been selling our sand. We have 70 furniture. I'm not understanding why do they, why would they need to, uh... okay. What we do need though, I think is we, we should probably build out this road here. Um, that way I can get some, some more uh, industry. <laughs> Let's call it that industry here, um, like the glass um, maker. Oh, jeez, they're super undesirable. 
Um, look at that desire. Look at that ring of just desirability. Just kills everything. <laughs> Jesus, I don't even know. I guess. I don't want it polluting the desirability of like. Why is a glass maker that undesirable? That these just the desirability ratings are a little weird. I think they're a little too heavy. Because if I put that anywhere near town, that would just decimate the very delicate desirability ratings I've got. <laughs> um, okay, so they're producing beer. Un unable to work. Why? Because they don't have grains. Of course. So... Okay, from the sounds of it. From the sounds of it. I have to make a ton more farms. <sighs> I have to make a ton more farms. In order and and a ton more farms and also a ton more arborist. Um I don't know. That's a, that's a... And I can keep going with farming community over that way. And eventually we'll have to start moving out the forest... Forestation stuff. So it's like at some point it's just going to be moving everything around. And that's going to be just kind of a pain. Um, could do farming over here-ish. And that, but that would lock us in for the most part. As far as we would have to keep going this way with houses. What is our 472 of 508? So again, this is kind of the the scale issue I was mentioning. I think in a few episodes ago was that just this is what you have to manage is scale of this. We need two people for f per farm. Per farm this size. Man. Okay. So I think all we can really do is probably start to... Man, <laughs> these walls. I wanted to... <laughs> I wanted to be able to use... Hopefully see them... Hate those walls. But... Um, all right, I think all I can do is start working on putting out more farms. And I need to clean this. Uh, I need to delete this road. Yep, because we just need to make it make it straight. do this way because that's the um, that's the way that goes. I wish it wouldn't exit out of the how did I do this? That doesn't make sense. That kinda makes sense. Okay. And then we'll um, salvage that gate. We'll put up another wall or fence here like that, and then we'll start working on um, putting a farm out. Let's put another road uh, straight out so we can kind of plan this. I don't know if that's 
good number. And basically, uh, man, I don't know. I really don't know. Because we'll have to figure out how to do the... By seven. I want to do a five by seven. And that may not be the most efficient uh, farm pattern. Um, but it is the smallest. And. But that's not true. It's not the smallest. You can, the smallest you can do is five by five. Um, We'll do that. We'll create that much. Um, do another cobble road. Because cobble roads do help with speed of things. Um, and what we'll want to do is probably move, move some of the defenses outwards. And then also put... Um, move the fence line to so I could probably move this uh, barracks out here somewhere kind of a thing like that and then we'll move the lookout tower um, uh, eight people yeah Height on things, but uh, yeah, we'll move the lookout tower to uh, here, <laughs> and I think that's probably good as far as lookout tower um, stuff. We can probably move some of the some of the other things in here out a little bit. Um, I think we'll definitely be scaring. Well, maybe we won't be scaring the deer away. Um, but we have to just see what's going to go on. I don't know. Is this good enough for that? I think that's good. So we'll have a path for uh, the sand pit. How much sand is in here? A good amount. A good amount. I didn't even check the fertility of this land. Ah, the fertility is low. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Great. Awesome. Perfect. Uh, at least we've got... Oh, we didn't even get a trader this year. So, yeah, I think that's that's our primary objective is to, to probably get more food going. Um, at least grains. So the trick is definitely going to be... Um, managing what crops go where and a big problem can be the uh, what am I trying to say the diseases which nothing is disease right now um, so that's good But I think, um, like, knowing how far the d diseases can spread. I don't remember how far the diseases can spread. And it doesn't tell you. Like, it's this is the hard part, too. It's, um, it doesn't tell you what's... I need a little bit of information. Um, and it's probably in some sort of a 
guide or something. Oh, they could use... Oh, that's the other thing. So, what would be good here is temporary shelters. Oh my god, jeez. I don't have the wood for all of these. Um, however, if we do a line of temporary shelters, that would at least get people someplace that they could... Why is that an invalid placement? There's no reason why that would be invalid placement. That's frustrating. Because we need a ton of... It's too close to water. Um, <clears throat> just need a ton of um, temporary shelters. Why is that invalid? Arr. Uh, Sure, we'll do that. Um... <clears throat> but yeah, we're getting close to our, our our number of housing again, and that's that's where it becomes difficult again because it's we're fifteen, uh, twenty, uh, about twenty something away from max, and that means. It's like two, three houses, uh, four or five houses, and it's, we just need a ton more blocks of housing, and where do we go with it? Where do we go? And, and go through this area where we've got foresting. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why it's difficult. do that and we'll just have to you know um, start moving I don't know I don't know, I don't know. Uh, we are Ooh, actually we have brick and that's weird how do we have that much brick that can't be because I've moved stuff here Is it because well, okay, so here's here's what I can do. If getting clay there is a problem, I can take this down. Um, I can put up a cobble. Can you go over that road? No, you can't go over that road. So I have to delete this dirt road or upgrade it. Um, let's let's upgrade it, and then I can put the fence gate. Hello, fence gate. Uh, right there. I'm glad that... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Seven villagers born. Oh, God. <laughs> so many babies. Um, and there's there's another problem. Exponential growth of people. And trying to maintain... Like, how close are we to... Oh, that looks so terrible. It doesn't connect, and that looks so terrible. Whatever. Do people actually use that? Yeah. I mean, kind of. It's like he used it to the last second that he didn't have to anymore. Yeah, I'm sure those hunters are going to have a hard time. But the deer's still there. Get it. Uh, we do. I need to think about fencing. Definitely fencing this up. I don't want deer to come to this area. And think of this. This is not okay for them to eat. <laughs> this stuff I don't want them to eat. The other stuff, uh, you know, they, can, they can go. I actually, I like that you can, you can go straight to the water with it. <laughs> um, and fence gate here. We already have fence gate there. Um, and it might make sense to have a fence gate here. Uh, if I can get the road to go through there. Let's see if I can get the road to go through there. Uh, because if I can get the road to go through here, that means that's a... More path. Invalid placement. Invalid placement. Invalid placement. Is that because of this? Hello. Invalid placement. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, let's just get a... So you can't place road where, where they can... Okay, so maybe I should have thought about that before taking that down. <laughs> Alright, let's put that back up. Um, let's put it back up. Double click. So the question is... Because they want to walk that way either, so they're going to walk that way. Okay, well that's... but then why? <laughs> that's... So they they want to walk that way. Let's let's do it and tear down the fence. Tear down that fence. I don't know if we can uh, put a road here. No. So the best place we can put a road is all the way over here. I guess I should have thought about this before I. Uh, okay. So basically, um, yeah. Right, right there, where I ended it, it probably is for a reason. Mm -hmm. So we can put a road here. And we can put a road here. Hello? Under minimum size. Oh. Sir. Oh. Now I can do it! For some reason that makes sense. Whatever. And we can put gates here. Um, and then we also do the Gabale Road. Um, I want to go as square as possible. Yes, like that. That's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so at least people can come walk through this way. Um, then the question is, do I move? Farm. Farm. Uh, wheat. So I'm going to I'm gonna remove this farm. And we're gonna move it here. Right next to this one. We're gonna move this road. It's gonna come down. Okay, so five by seven. Perfect. And we can probably like put some bees uh, there. Okay, the glass maker is made. Go like that. See, look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Um, how wonderful. And actually, here's a thought: we can put more temporary shelters right here. Oh, that's smart. Um, so we can house all of these people working here and uh, make sure that they're all taken care of. And that was genius. Genius move. Good job, team. I'm, I'm proud of us right now. Can we get this guy? Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's smart, the best, or whatever, but it's good. <laughs> it's great. Um, this little patch of dirt road we can upgrade. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We can then put this little road here, bring that down also. Look at that! Look at look at that! That's perfect. Now they can fish here happily. Please don't raid us this next year. I would like a couple couple more years of <laughs> like a trader though. Uh, and we're running out on space. We're, we're definitely running out on space for people. So I have to build more houses. Have to build more houses. 
Okay, 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 okay. So let's pause for a second. And, um... What we're gonna do in the middle of... Is it three or four? It's three I'm doing. I don't think it fits anybody there. Can't fit anybody there. It would probably fit someone there. Um... I was gonna say something. I was gonna say let's put some parks and stuff in the middle, um, but I've already kind of, I think, ruined that. We can put. Hmm. Some parks over here, and we can probably put some parks in this area. Let's try this. Decorations. And we'll put like two of the small strips of park, that, and that, um, uh, let's, let's get some terrain flattening going on here, um, there, what was this, the iron ore, um, it's weird that it wasn't showing that for a second, 10,000, I'm not, you know, we've got, what was it? A ton of iron ore coming up here. We got uh, 32,000 iron ore up here. I'm not concerned with how much iron ore we um, how much iron ore we have to we have left. <laughs> That's not a concern of mine at all. However, we can put some parks over here. I f okay, I've uh, assigned that to be flattened. Let's look at this. Can we do a big park? Uh, is that a big park? That is kind of a big park over there. So, let's do a big park-ish thing uh, here. It'll help with the desirability. And then we can do some... Um, uh, damn it! <laughs> I was a little, uh, a little fast with, with clicking there. A little too fast. Uh, we want the plaza... Yeah, I, I think you'd want a plaza there, a plaza there, and we'll do like uh, this little strip of a park there, and um, we can add some some strip of parks up here too. Um, yeah, then that's fine. That's perfect. That's good. I love it. <laughs> um, so that should help with the desirability of these areas. Not that I really wanted to, or felt like I needed to make this desirable. Uh, let's put a park there. But it should help. Um, we have the well there. Just looking at all the things we need. Can I put another house there? Was that uh, taken care of? I can put a house there. Um, hmm. Uh, we need to move this uh, gatherer. No, they're fine with what they've got, right? They're getting eggs. Nuts. Not much, though. There's not. There's just. It's just. Uh... Right. So then, at some point, um, what we'll have to do, what we can do. figured out. Uh, what we'll be able to do is we'll probably be able to move this stuff around and get uh, basically move the entire uh, woodworking area out and um, get them attacking these patches of wood up here and then reclaim this area for livestock and, and stuff. Um, Reclaim this area uh, for more uh, fruit trees and things like that. Probably, I'm not entirely sure. That's kind of just where I'm going with it. Um, use where? Wow. Oh, we have a 
theater now, which costs us 20. That's good. Uh, where does our wood get stored? It'd be nice if we could look at where the wood gets stored. Um, so we could figure that out. What was a good... It was not here. Is wood here? <sighs> That's our problem. Okay. Um, wood gets stored at the stockyard. There is a big problem. We need a stockyard up here. Um, storage. So. Um, that will help with efficiency. That's, I think, their biggest problem. That's travel time, transferring goods. It's not a big issue, because I think they're going, they're pretty streamlined as far as going from here to here, but um, that'll probably help them a whole lot. That'll probably help them. We do have traders coming in. Um, I see one. Do I see two? Sometimes they come at the same time, sometimes they don't. Um, no, I don't see number two, but that's okay. Uh, let's look at what trader number one has. We still haven't made our objective. Wait, actually, we do have the ability to upgrade right now. We've triggered that upgrade. We will have a hospital. Uh, oh, they want iron ore. That's good. That's awesome. We can take all of their money again. I probably shouldn't have, should have waited until we had the second trader come in, but, um... I can sell them all the iron ore, can't I? There we go. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, do they have anything we need? Uh, we have seven heavy tools, which we're creating a ton. They have regular tools, which we need. For some reason, we are out of regular tools. Um, I'm going to buy a couple to hold us over. Let's do 35. Let's do 35. We can sell them the rest of the uh, iron ore. Uh, they're buying coal. We can sell them some coal too, apparently, because they have. They still have money left over. Okay, I'm happy with that. I don't know why we're still not getting candles made. We have two candle shops. Unable to work. Unable to work. That's frustrating. Uh, whatever. Okay, that's fine. We don't need these people producing um, that many heavy tools. Regular tools is fine now. We've got a good, good uh, amount of heavy tools. Uh, it would be nice, and we probably need to. We'll probably need to start thinking about how we handle this area um, at some point. So, we've got all of the money from that trader, merchant. I would like to find another merchant coming in. It's okay. Is that it? No. Uh, okay. What I think I need to do is probably draw out the map here of of this farm, which is kind of simple. It's five by two. Um, if I can draw properly, so that's Not on this piece of paper. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, 
crops ready for assignment, I'm aware. Um, it is the beginning of the year, so we should probably think about it. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Split down the center. Um, so I think the the wheat um, diseases can jump like five, right? So you want to be able to leave a space of five between wheat. So you want to do wheat, 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 and then also in opposite years do wheat and wheat or something like that. And that produces... Um, we'll do one, two, and three, one, two, and three. So we're going to split those into three sections. And we'll do wheat, wheat, wheat. Um, I don't know if that's the correct way to do it. I doubt that this is the right way to do it at all. <laughs> uh, let's clear that one. And then we'll do... No, see, I'm doing it wrong, but um, maybe not. No, we'll want first year on that one, uh, third year on that one, second year on that one. It's probably not the best, um, but that gives us two on year one, two on year two, one there, and then one there, two there, and two there. So that's three, four, and three and of wheat for all those fields. And then we have to kind of match up which which years which year one all that stuff, which is going to be interesting. Um, so right now, what crops we're going to add is just uh, getting work done. So that's fine. That's the easy one to think about because they'll all be kind of done within the next year, I think. Uh, within this year, we can get them all assigned to be doing the work. Um, we can do a clover, like clover situations is pretty much, uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out. And we can do like a bean or something in, in an off year. I assigned those, yes. So it has, it has space for the years to do more, that's fine. Um, oh, and we can also extend more of these, which is great. Are we out of storage? No, we're not out of storage. We're fine with storage. Um, we can upgrade them, but we're not in a hurry. We still only have one trader. Okay. We have another trader. Oh, the other trader's coming in here. How many days do we have left? 45 days. We're doing alright. We're doing alright. I think we're good. <laughs> I love how we still have this little section of... Uh, of wall. Can we upgrade this? And that's the real other question. Uh, should I manage these walls and hit the upgrade button? I can. I like that. Um, and let's do that. This is the worst side to do it on because I know I want to move the wall here. But we're going to do it here. And we're going to upgrade. Oh, it's going to use so much stone. We don't have the stone for this. I don't have the stones for this. <laughs> Upgrade. Whatever. Uh, yeah, that's a sign that we're going to use so much stone that we don't have. Um, that would be great if we could find some way to... Should I do a temporary... Um, work camp right here and get rid of the stone? I think that might be smart. Uh, I don't... Whatever, it's, it'll be temporary, right? Get rid of the stone. We need both stone and wood, but... Uh, resources. Uh, work camp. Uh... 
It'd be nice if I could find a place to put them. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> let's let's do that. We're gonna put some roads up. Um, so you so you can at least get to get to your work site. Um, and once they've built that, we'll we'll set. We, there'll be like a little traveling work camp area that we can, um, you know, we'll set them to do s just stone work. Uh, good. We'll add work there. The building's on fire, of course. Uh, they do have water nearby, so it's not that big of an issue. I think the fire is a little aggressive for the for what's going on. Um, okay. Uh, Trader 1 has no money left. Trader 2 is going to buy a bunch of stuff, <laughs> so they're going to not have much money left. Uh, do they have... Uh, let's look really quickly. Trader One wants soap, planks, shoes. Uh, nothing. Uh, Trader Two wants stuff that Trader One does not have. So, it's pretty pelts. They have pelts. Yep. Okay. So they're not. They're, there's just nothing. They're not compatible at all as far as trading. I will sell you pelts. Um, I will sell you baskets. Sell your shoes. I'm surprised we have that much shoes, to be honest, in stock. We're making plenty of soap, though, apparently. Uh, oh, he has bricks at a beautiful, beautiful price. Um, mm -hmm. Let's transfer some soap. Let's. Hopefully, the rest of that stuff also transfers. And then we've got bricks we're going to buy. Just buy a ton of bricks. Literally. I, I don't know if I should buy all of his bricks. He is selling them at, at 13 gold ease versus... If I hit upgrade, am I not going to be able to... Let's wait until they leave. <laughs> that's my biggest problem. That's, that's one of the problems with this, is that if you hit upgrade, your your abilities with that... Um, actually, you know what? We're going to buy all of this gold. Oh, bricks. That's fine. Why don't we have flour? Because I don't have wheat being grown. Of course. Why, why would I... Um... So let's run down the clock. Oh, please don't raid us. I don't want to raid right now. I wish I could. I wish this was like RimWorld where you could, um. Like, slow down adverse things. It'd be more story like. Um. We have houses. That's good. Um. Okay, can um, let's actually move this back down. To f let's move it down to 50 because that's a more reasonable number, I think, as far as just keeping stock of stuff. Okay, baskets are in. I need a bunch. Like, like don't slouch here, guys. You have to double time it. <laughs> I need, I need to take his money. Oh, we've moved all the shoes we've got, and the other trader left, which is fine because uh, we took all of his money. Shoes are on their way. Um, I don't want him to walk away with with you know 2,500 gold. <laughs> I want his gold. I want gold. Um, come on, bring me stuff. Here we go. We got two more people coming in. Loads of stuff. Here's our, our baskets and some pelts. Eleven days. Oh, I'm not watching that. Ten days. 
nine. Ah, we're not gonna get anything else. Yeah, maybe. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we pause. We're just gonna sell everything we can. Sell that. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. He's walking away with so much money. I don't know what uh, what they're working on, and it's maybe it's the iron ore with, um, that they're bringing in a lot of that they don't need to be. Okay, let's bring it down half speed. Maybe we'll get... Uh, maybe Roland will bring in a little bit more before he leaves, but I doubt it. It only happened once, I think. <laughs> no, okay. Now we can upgrade. Um, upgrade, so see, now that it's being upgraded, you can't do anything. <laughs> so we'll throw six people on it um, and prioritize it. Uh, so what I think is what's gonna happen, now that we've, we're upgrading that, next year we're gonna have like three or four traders come in and that's gonna be possible for me to really uh, manage. Okay, let's do that. Uh, occupancy. Let's okay, uh, he just doesn't look like a teacher, right? Uh, yeah. I think we need more people. I think, uh, crops are ready for a second. Okay. I think we need. figure this out. And it's like, I don't know, maybe next year we should just add clovers. And no, clovers next year also. Can we add another? Next year is going to be clovers. And then, we'll just, I guess next year will be clovers too. For you. Did that camp get built? Where did that camp, where did I build this camp? Can we prioritize this please? Uh, we're going half speed, that's why. Alright. I forget why we needed stone, but, uh... Here I am. <laughs> I, I exist. What's the desirability here? Oh, negative 21%? That's great. Ah, poor guy. <laughs> uh, um, we might be able to throw a little park right there. And and this, th so the desirability uh, issue can also uh, work its way away once once we, uh, we can have two, four spots. We can do a small park. Nope. A uh, medium garden. Yeah, perfect. The desirability issues can probably be really um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Me, me, um, oh, I put two parks here. Why would they? Oh, the plazas. Let's upgrade those plazas. Hello. Let's upgrade that plaza too. And it's this here. Uh, there should be no reason why they're that undesirable. That's okay. Um, and what I'm trying to say is that those... Uh, like that. I guess let's, let's add them in like that. And let's add that in. The... Mitigated. We can mitigate a lot of this desirability issue, I think, by parks, and once we can move things out. So it's not going to be that big of an issue. Uh, do we have time for one here? We do. Don't tell me it's missed because you haven't even attempted it. <laughs> and once they're all built, we'll figure out their, their timing. We'll just have to work it. It'll, it'll happen. will work out, I promise. Uh, oh, the camp's built. Perfect. 
Uh, do do and work camp. Guess what you're doing? All the rocks. All the stone. Please, all the stone. Stone. Oh, for the walls. That's right. All the walls. Alright. Well, our trading post has been upgraded, and we don't have any more workers. <laughs> it's only the two of them. Why? And I think probably uh, 3,000 gold is probably what we need to keep here in stock. Actually, hey, that's, that's a... Uh, I like that. Can we do... Let's do 3,500 gold. Keep that in stock. <laughs> and they'll keep... Oh, why are we at two? Speed. Okay. So now we're supposed to be getting traders with more quality items. Which means more expensive. So that's why I kind of upgraded that. Um, maybe they're going to want... Uh, there's the other issue, that maybe they're not going to want the, the less expensive stuff, the stuff that we've been... Uh, Banking on as far as uh, those all have it. Those are all assigned. That's all assigned. These guys aren't assigned yet. That's, uh, we're gonna have to do that there. You have no time to do anything there, so we'll do clovers that year. stuff you are actually making glass so the question is how many people do we have we have 17 just kind of lying around here not doing work so um, let's start selling glass uh, okay. okay I have uh, I have overdone it let's let's <laughs> not let's, let's get you half full and since you are making working with Food or resources? Resources. Um, well, you're near the water. I don't think that's an issue. But we'll have a well nearby just in case. So people can stop everything they're doing and put you out. Um, we do have a hospital now. <coughs> Um, and the hospitals should also be making, I thought, I thought hospitals would be making um, medicine instead of just using it. I don't, I don't, okay. Like, it's kind of funny, I just don't understand it, like the purpose. <laughs> what you doing with stone? You don't have anything to knock out with stone? This is perfect. I think this is great. I love how they're realizing that that's the faster path. Yeah, we just need we need a bunch of stone, and I think we're gonna be okay with getting that going. Uh, what's our food situation? Six <laughs> situation because we have six months of food. Um, I was thinking more on the meats. Those in. Those in. We don't have people for all this farming. I think. So we definitely need more people. Again, going back to the whole issue of scale, 
Um, some dirt roads in here. At least we'll have some sort of road. I can bring the fence down. I mean, it doesn't doesn't help it anyway. But uh, I can just bring the fence down if I want to do that. I'll probably just end up. No, no. I don't know how to do the fencing. The fence line stuff is not great. Where's the boar? Where is the boar? Apparently, there's three boar. have too many builders. Um, we can bring that down. Let's bring it down to 15. Maybe that'll be good. And then we can kind of keep laborers and just knock everybody out of there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go on and do other work now. All right, bye. Uh, oh, no. Uh, it's too cold. Okay, good. Dear, hello, are you not? Can you? I don't know why you're having such a hard time with, with getting anything. Okay, new villager, uh, more crops ready for assignment. Is that that's that one? Um, we need to do that. We need to do that. Oh, we're gonna get raided. We're gonna get raided this year. God. I don't want to turn that off. <laughs> um, in a sense, you know, it's like raids are good and bad. All right. I hate to say that. I hate saying it like that. Because they're just gonna they're gonna come in this way and they're gonna pillage just all of our residences. Yes, I know that there's no stone. Sign those crops. I did. I did. I did. I did. Um, where are we going for that? Okay. We haven't even finished the first year yet. So I just need to kind of figure out where, um, what year we're in and how to manage this, because I've got it all laid out. I think it's good. I don't know if it's great, but I think it's good as far as, you know, measuring or, or splitting it up. We get this now we're in five. Just 
kind of want to keep an eye on time so I can get to the lunch break. And then at what point do I... Oh man, see now I'm having, a, I'm having thoughts that maybe I shouldn't have done. Eh, you know what, we can do, we can do the, you know, the castle, the brick walls, the castle walls, kind of stuff. And then do, uh, you know, palisade walls eventually after, uh, over here, right? Uh, that's, that's how we can do it. Nobody thinks that's a bad idea, um, but look how we have made great use of these temporary shelters. Uh, that allows people not to frickin' die <laughs> in the winter. Unfortunately, and I don't, um, I don't know if maybe that's the the way you use temporary shelters. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the best methods for this. Compost here. We got more compost. Um, firewood low. I get that. We just don't have a lot of choice. We don't have any options. Oh. Compost there. Mm. <laughs> ah, of course. Uh, of course. Why would we? Be? Why would we? Why would we have stocks of uh, firewood? Um, why would you guys be like fully? Mm -hmm. 165, 390, 315. Uh, so they can produce, you know, 450 a year, and we're going through that much firewood again. That's a problem of scale. Uh, I have to move them out, and I I know that that our our problem of scale right now was that uh, you know I just got all of these up, and they stored a bunch of firewood and uh, you know, all the new housing that all required firewood. Um, That's definitely kind of our problem right now, is that uh, we just we just did a mass increase of, I mean, we literally almost doubled our housing in the past three years, right? So, uh, with doubling the housing in the past three years, we have not doubled our waste collection. We've uh, kind of kept up with our waste collection, I think. But we have not kept up with our, our firewood. And it's like at some point I have to draw a line and then be like, okay, well, now we're going to be firewood stuff collection out here. Um, and maybe doing, you know, just move our, uh, our wood stuff over to this section and start building out here. Uh, yeah, planning this is kind of ridiculous. I'm not opposed to that. That seems like a pain in the butt to move towards. Um, our stone none for year 45 okay we're okay no, we're gonna get redid this is gonna be painful but why do why does why um why don't I have a fence there 
I get what's going on, I just don't know why it's going on. And I see that road doesn't go through. So now I gotta delete that road, because unless I can do a small... Like that, bring that in. It's so weird. That's just a weird concept. You have an issue, buddy? You're full, but you're also not producing. I don't. Okay. Here. I don't know where you were. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the same guy. Uh, looks like it's the same guy, but I can't tell. I'm thinking the other guy's stuck, and I wish I didn't just close out on him. Because people get stuck in this game, and that's fun. I don't know if maybe if we... Take a moment, save, and then come back and maybe things are going to get a little bit more unstuck. Should I do that? I think that might be a smart thing to do. Okay, we're going to we're going to pause. We're going to pause and we're going to save. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the main menu and we're going to come back. That's what we're going to do. So, bear with me as we do this. Continue. Um, if you are in the Twitch chat, um, you know, come hang out, come say hi. I'm I'm definitely watching the chat chat, and I'm uh, I'm here. You know, if you're here, I'm I'm here. It's fun. <laughs> Give me some some suggestions if you have any ideas or have any questions. I'm I'm. I'll I'll answer your your questions and take your suggestions into advisement you are you are my advisement team okay okay let's bring the mod back up so we can expand out some I think maybe that'll clear anybody stuck someplace hopefully it's 512 people it's kind of difficult to uh, manage that number Oh, what's this? A large house. Does that more people than a... Oh, it does. It does more people than... Um, Anders. Okay, I thought having um, a better trading center would... Uh, uh, trading post turning into a trading center would be... Better? Not seeing it though. Let's see. What do you have? You have. Uh, you want logs? You want my baskets? I'll sell you baskets. I don't think. Uh, I'll sell you baskets. That's what they're there for. You don't want anything else, and I don't. Uh, other than stone, but you're. You're selling at a premium. I don't really want stone. Um, mm, mm, mm. There's another trader. Kind of having some issues there with our pathing. So we'll wait until he comes in. And this. So let's get that going. Let's get that going. Um, we're going to have a... This is going to be a bunch of wheat field. So it's... Um, which kind of... Hmm. 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 How much does that rat do? 
actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna relocate this building to here. We're gonna relocate um let me undo that. We're gonna re relocate the other one. Uh here. Okay. And what we'll do is relocate the rat catcher down here. Uh that way we can have close access to grain once this is working. It's not a big issue right this second, but we'll have close access to the grain. Uh storage once that's all effective and working. Alright. That that and now we have all of them. Now it's time to think about how this works. So year two, yeah, rockiness is perfect. So year two, we're gonna do that, and then clovers near the end of the year. So we want clovers, that keeps down the weeds and increases the fertility. Um, this is also gonna be in year two. We're gonna have wheat and clovers. What else is year two right now? Um, these two are year two, so we'll do wheat and then clovers. And um, we're just gonna put clovers in. But for I mean that's that's what we're gonna have to do. So year three, I can clear this out. Uh, you're gonna have you're gonna have wheat and then clovers on year three. And we can have just clovers here. Bring up the fertility. Your your year three also. I will clear that out. Because all the rockiness is gone, so that's perfect. Wheat and clovers. Clovers and uh nope, 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 nope. Clovers and clovers. Hello, my brain. Um your year two also. So we'll just add clovers in there. Um, and then your year four. Your year three. Wait a second. I did not do that right. Your year two. So. <coughs> This is temporarily two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. Um, okay, let's look at this again. So here two, wheat, and clover. And then we can remove this, because there's no more. Ooh, actually there's a lot of rockiness in this one. Um, can I add two workers there? I think we need to do that. So I kind of screwed that up. Is there rockiness in this one? No. Clovers and year two. And we can remove these guys from year three. <clears throat> and we can do clovers. Like that. Okay. So year three would be this one. That's right. And uh, we can definitely add that there. Rockiness is low here. And your year three also. Okay. I'm good with that. Hmm. Year three on this one. Um, that and that. And year three on this one. So I screwed that up. Um, rocking this, no. So year, uh, year, year three here, clovers. And we just need clovers there. Okay. Year two which we should be good with rocking this here if I can add clovers clear this out um, like that and clovers clovers and then I've got this field um, so basically we'll just add clovers here uh, this field is also year four so it's the first year which um, hmm. One's also year four, so we need the rockiness out of this one. So it's just it is what it is. The way that the way that we're doing this. Um, 
So next year it'll go back to my next year will be my will be perfect as far as my schedule map. Everything will be uh, in their correct year um, assignments. Now, hopefully, the way I've got that organized, we won't spread disease. I'm probably completely wrong. But hopefully, we won't spread disease. But I think it, it, it seems like this is going to be an issue as far as, you know, it's just going to spread disease. What the heck is going on with you? Where are you? Alright, where are you, dude? What's wrong with you? You just stuck there? You get stuck there, and I don't like that you're getting stuck there. Like, the, the road just doesn't work for you or something, right? So, man. He doesn't know what to do. Because he's trying to transfer items and he's just stuck. And that's not great. I'm going to move this guy's place of business. Right, you're you're moving. You're moving. I don't know how you're stuck there, and I don't actually. No, I can't rotate. Really Probably could. <sighs> Let's see. Can I just rotate him instead of just completely moving him? do that, that way he's facing that way. Let's see if that helps the way he's facing. Prioritize that. Upgrade that to two people. It's, I'm going to say, it's just, it's just frustrating as far as how that works. Oh, I guess I could put a fence there. Because I don't, I don't know what to say about that. I don't know what to do about that. Now. Oh, new traveling merchant. Um, before we do that, I need to move their grazing. Cause it's been a while since we've moved their grazing area, I think. Uh, E6. So, set their grazing. Uh, they can go there. Their grazing area is right there. So they can come in... I don't know. Um, over there, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that's what we need to do. Okay, Trader 2. Oh, hello. You... Uh, you want furniture? And you have a lot of gold. Um, oh, and you buy the heavy tools. Very nice. Do you buy the heavy tools at a good price? 318? Does Anders sell them? No. Mmm. 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 What is this? Preserves. For low, low prices. Um. You buy cheese. Well, buddy, guess what we have on sale today? <laughs> um. Let me, let me get all the cheese. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm gonna cheese. Cheese is is in your future. Um, we're gonna take this down to seventy five. I think that's good. We don't need these. We don't need stuff being um, overwhelming us. So one one forty is actually fine for that. Um. I don't know if 65 is great for that. That's okay. Um, yeah, baskets. As soon as we get baskets, that's fine. Okay. Let's get cheese going in. And I have, I have nothing else really ready to sell him, so we can also probably move... Uh, can't, can't we? 
Let's keep that in stock. Um, he has nothing I really want to buy other than medicine, but it's really high priced. He does have flour really cheap. Uh, six, so six gold for, f for, f uh, 500 cheese is, is three, thi oh lord, we're gonna have a third. Um, trader, uh, d uh okay. Okay, alright. Um, I, I mean, I kind of knew that we might have a third. Whew. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. This, is, management of this is gonna be... I don't think we're going to be able to use the book anymore. Okay, Trader, hurry up, get in here. Oh, and he... Okay, he has plate mail armor. Oh, Lord, we're at that point. Uh, okay. Trader one, you want baskets. Wood. You sell cheese. I could buy cheese for four. And sell it for six. Actually, we could do that. Um. And do that really quick. What am I going to lose here as far as money? Um, hopefully we get some baskets in so I can make some money off of you, but, uh, let's do that for cheese. Let's get the cheesiness. Uh, can we... Oh, that's weird. Okay, we've taken a lot of his money. Hopefully we can get some more... That's interesting how that worked. That's a buggy bug, but uh, I'm okay with it. <laughs> if we can maintain that number, you know, so it doesn't, uh, so it bugs that out. Uh, that's fine. No, you're not going to buy anything else. You've, you've made money. I've taken money from you many times. So you've now made money. Now. I've now made now this is a thing. This is just a thing. Uh, they want glassware. They want furniture also. They both want furniture. What do you have? You have clothing for 20. He's buying it for 23. So I'll buy clothing from you. Uh, um, buy in stock. Sell twenty. I'll sell clothing. That's fine. I'm okay with having a little extra too. Like, uh, okay. And do you have more cheese, or did I, did I buy all your cheese? I bought all your cheese. That's all right. We have cheese coming in. So Anders. Okay. I think now let's see what we get in 17 days in stock here. And, uh, Maybe we can sell some more stuff to Ander and get his money back. Uh, three speed? Probably not. We probably aren't going to get any baskets in. Um, maybe. We're getting a little bit. We just don't, we're not making it fast enough. Oh, for Christ's sake. Okay. Okay. I don't. And, oh, they're coming this way. I don't, um, this is why we, um, I'm, this is why I've got the barracks here. Um, what I'm going to do is let them attack. We need to see where they're coming from, where they get to. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I didn't want to do that. Okay. Anders. Yeah, I know things are going to get attacked here. Oh, Jesus. The, the things have just... It's become a pain. Two days. 
Let's see, one day. Okay, we're selling that to you. Um, I don't know. Whatever. We have cheese. You want my cheese? Six hundred uh, six dollars of cheese. Um, I have all your money. Yes. Not a whole lot else I can sell to this guy. He's gonna be gone in eleven days. Uh, Anders is gone. I don't know what to do. Like, this is a little excessive. But <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed. Just just to be clear. Um Masuki is leaving in six days. Lethros is leaving in thirty-five. So let's get six days down on the clock. Um I'm uh, I'm hoping my my people are doing their job. I want to go check it out. <laughs> uh, leaving in one day. Okay, we're selling all of that cheese to him. That's fine. Uh, Masuki has has nothing. Uh, has no money, so we can't sell to him. So I think that's. All we can do with him. We've taken all of his money. We've taken all of his money. I'm happy. Um, we're doing. Is that it? Is that the only raiders? I'm not seeing any of the raiders. So, with that, okay, with knowing that that's where the raiders are, we can flag these guys to run over here um, and, and help. And these guys, which I think is a bad idea because what's going to happen is um, uh, they go after your storage so they can steal the stuff from the storage. That's the problem. I wish there was an easy way you could just like highlight everything and just go rebuild. Because like this is annoying. I have to select. We're actually in auto rebuild would be smart too. And this stupid guy over here. Is that our guy? That's our guy. Um I didn't mean to call him stupid, I was just saying. Oh yes, wonderful. Where where oh no no no. Hello, where is my people? Um, <sighs> I'm uh, a little, a little stressed. Why are you not running? this building, can they? And I guess they can. There you go. Start kicking them out. Oh, jeez. I did not see this damage here. Oh, they're taking all of our weapons. Ah, I just did so much. What's this? Go chase them. Um, 
So yeah, like the the only I, I don't want to say it's a good thing, um, but raiders definitely. They, they cut down on stuff. Okay, raid side was 36. They didn't pillage anything. Although I don't like how it calculates this. It's terrible. It's dumb. And the music is still going, so I'm a little concerned. <laughs> We've still got raiders coming, and I'm concerned that they're coming from this side or something. I'm not hearing noises of them attacking. Yeah, the music's closing out. Okay. What? No, come on. Not another set. Oh, they're just leaving. They're the ones leaving. I know they've taken a bunch. have to go around and uh, rebuild and uh, fill positions. Uh, which that's annoying. This is another annoying thing of it. Um, just trying to find people that. Uh, That kills kills some of your workforce. I'm surprised they didn't come this way. I'm actually surprised they didn't come from this way. This, this wide. Um, we're gonna move. Return to barracks. And uh, it'd be nice if I could just uh, de-flag the area uh, from here. Return to barracks. Okay. One iron, two weapons. That's doesn't seem like all of it. I can't imagine that's all they took. So we're gonna get one more notice, I think, because they took a bunch of food. They had to have. They had to have taken a bunch of food. Um, unless we just don't have. Uh, okay, this place is out of ore. Uh, we're going to salvage the building and we're going to get some of those workers back. That's good. That has a value. And it's Actually, yeah, I'm surprised it didn't come from the other side. This may just be calculated as weaker, just because this is here. Um, and this just general area is considered uh, um, you know, pretty fortified with the number of defense towers. We, we're not in that year next year yet, are we? Um, so the wheat here should be still next year. Yep. Okay. So let's look at the infection here. It does not give us any information. It spreads within 30 meters. Um, so that would be six tiles. 
Uh, so that does not... That throws out everything that I've done here. <laughs> yeah, I have a five tile separation between uh, and a year separation. So maybe maybe it's okay, but maybe it's not. And that's that's my problem. Maybe it's okay, maybe it's not. It's probably not. It's probably um, like that. At least he's not stuck anymore. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. I'm frustrated. How much time are we on? We're almost at two. Uh, no. Yeah, we're almost at two hours. We're one hour and 45. 41. Uh, okay, well, they didn't actually take much. They just destroyed a bunch of stuff. Then so I'm not... Um, I'm not upset by... I, I, it sucks that they killed like what three villagers, four villagers, somewhere around there. Um, but that does mean we have good defenses, and I like that. Uh, however, I think they they kind of focused on just destroying stuff instead of stealing stuff. I do appreciate that uh, walls are effective up to the water, and they can't just like swim around the walls kind of a thing. Do we still have a trader here? We do not. <laughs> ah, that's great. Um, okay, it's it's a bug, but I like the bug. <laughs> I like that we can stock it over the 500. Um, uh, what is our gold situation here? We have 6,000 gold. Why are you trying to trade that down? It doesn't seem like they're trading that down. Um, okay, pause. Let's bring that back down to 3,000. Confirm. Uh, yeah, we're rich. We are rich. Um, we're very prosperous. The word. I think we have too much cheese, though. I think... I'm glad that you're unable to work. We're going to kick that down in, in half. I think we just have too much cheese. Uh, preserves, though. Immensely valuable. Immensely valuable. Um, we have a lack of wood chopage. So... Them out some, and uh, probably move these guys out some too. Um, and then we'll just need to figure out what is our workforce capacity. We have a bunch of laborers not doing a whole lot. I'm sure they're working, but uh, they're not doing a whole lot. And we can mark. You know, whatever. We'll mark this entire area right here for harvest. Um, so maybe some people will harvest stuff. Get that taken care of. What's the deer situation here? Deer is uh, high. <laughs> uh, nobody's sick anymore. We are, though, close to low on... Okay, I do have an idea. And I think it would be nice if uh, to plan this out better, uh, to start over, which I think I think would be would be interesting to start over and and have um, a lot of the ender the the late game concepts. I wouldn't say end game, the late game concepts in mind as far as like what you know that you're going to get and what you're going to um, need to protect. Right, I think. Um, if you manage this better, um, you know, having the vault and having your storage and everything, giving yourself space for storage and fencing that off first, right? 
fencing that off first, even if it's just a normal fence, um, fence it off, put up defenses uh, near your storage, because that's what they seem to be wanting to go for. Um, and then that way you can you can then upgrade your pal your your fences, remove the fences, upgrade them to palisade walls. But you have that that plan in place as far as what's there. Um, I think that's a smart smart move to to do that. I think there might be a way to cheese the graveyard <laughs> uh, because you can't destroy the graveyard. So. And I think you could use that probably as a wall and feed people through it or um, use just the graveyard. It's so stupid. Uh, but we are almost filled on that graveyard. Do you know what I mean? Like, you could... Uh, I'm, ooh. Let's... No, I don't want... So I'm thinking, like... Actually, we can, we can probably de deconstruct it, right? But if you did... Um, probably have to have like at least three wide okay yeah you have to have at least three wide um, so if you you could do like a three wide uh, wall of just graveyard and it's stupid because you could then probably just cheese that and funnel um, funnel raiders in um, and that's okay that's um, that's that's okay that's my thoughts of that at least I don't know if I want the graveyard on the other side of the wall here, but I think I think it's good. Um, oh, you can't have it too big, but that's okay. You could always. Uh, the other thing too is the graveyard doesn't require any resources, does it? Does it require stone? Nope. Just work, just labor. So there you go. You have an imbreakable object, and that, uh, <laughs> you know, you have an imbreakable object uh, that you could line your, your city with for free. It just takes work. <laughs> uh, so it's probably better than any, any wall that you can build kind of a thing. But if, if I were doing this from the beginning, um, I do have concepts and ideas as far as yeah, put your storage in a central location and barricade that up. Barricade that up. Get, get even just fences lining it so that you know um, no. That's not true. Okay. Anyway, that doesn't make sense. Uh, so, there's still some bugs, I guess. Um, out of stone. The stone to be done. What stone work to be done? Uh, but yeah, that's that's something you do, um, and then you should do a, another fence line around your your uh, residential, and just prepare uh, for you know fence lines. Fence lines. That's the ticket. Making sure you have room for fence lines. Now that's my that's my kind of biggest problem here with this is I don't have fence line management is super difficult if you've if you didn't plan for it. I think is, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, oh, we have deer deers in the area, so I'm not sure. Got too far. Let's put you there. And you're the. No, you're not over there. You're this one, right? Where are you? Oh, you are over here. Poop. Did I just move you? I think I moved you completely. No, just go there. You're having trouble. Why? You. Oh, because. Because you were killed. <laughs> that's, that's probably why. Um, we're good though. However, on on uh, 
housing, I think. Oh, the part of the garden is, uh, we just need stone. That's that's the other thing, is um, trying to main the, maintain the scale of things. So, let's rush through the winter as fast as we can. Hopefully nothing major comes up. We don't need to do anything else as far as management, but what I want to do is get the next year out so we can get these... Um, get these farm, these fields uh, finished being set up. So I need the next year to actually happen. A villager has become violent, probably because of alcohol. Um, a villager has been attacked by another villager uh, so, are you... <sighs> Who's attacking? This guy? Attacking. Uh, because you... are unhappy? Okay. Um... What do we do about this? Tell them to stop. Ah, yes. Go back to drinking beer. So, that's what I didn't want, right? Just, you know, beer become a problem. Um, and beer has become a problem. And that's the other thing I would not have done. Um, we had a happy town until beer came in. The only reason why I'm doing these fields is to, to have beer. So, um, yeah. I think that was probably a bad, bad idea. Who's attacking, though? Um, you're not the person attacking. <sighs> I don't know. But, but where? I'm confused. about oh is somebody oh okay somebody is down here attacking things so confused but I think we've we've definitely hit this turning point as far as now we've got people attacking other, uh, our own villagers attacking other people so do we now need a prison a jail oh they make the they make the medicine that's right so why don't we have a jail 
Um, that's... I think that's the, the next step. Tier 4! <laughs> um, you know, as far as what they, they don't have, uh, you know, I'm surprised that they don't have a, a jail kind of a thing. So... I don't, I don't know, was the apothecary bad as far as anything? Nobody cares. Okay. Um, I want the apothecary near, I guess here, All right? Uh, because they need, they need access to medicine stuff. We need to finish going through this year, this winter, and that's why I can close out this episode. <laughs> I want to get this set, and we'll come back after lunch. Um, I think also instead of doing dirt roads, I, I think if the game could have um, recognized patterns that people make as far, you know, if people are doing this kind of a thing constantly over and over, if that automatically made a dirt road, uh, that would be an interesting concept, and that way you could up the upgrade back to cobble instead of having to just uh, assign the dirt road yourself. You know that would be that would be interesting. I think if they could if they if they managed that. Um, I think late game you either need um, more content because it's getting. And I, I hate to say that I'm getting bored with it. I'm definitely not. Um, I like this. I love. I love the game. Like the game's great. I wouldn't have put you know, 30 hours, 35 hours into this game if I didn't love it. <laughs> um, we are not at the next year yet. There we go. New year. <sighs> That's fine. However, that means we have our crop rotation set. So this is year one. That's right. So we're now going to clear. Actually, we need to. I think we'll, we'll leave one in here and we'll put one clover, but we cl clear this out. Um, we'll do two clovers. We'll do a. Um, I don't know. So I do think that this one needs more rockiness taken care of. So let's do that. I don't know if that's smart. Uh, this is year one. That's right. That's about as good. I don't. Again, I don't know if maybe doing that helps with keeping the weeds down. It helps the fertility. That's for sure. It has some weed suppression. It may not be that big of an issue. This is year one. That's correct. Uh, the rockiness is. Um, I can definitely move that up, and then I can maybe there. I don't like. I don't know. Is that winter? Like, it doesn't care. Okay, that doesn't care. We can clear this out. Because we don't need... We're, the rockiness is not going to be an issue. Um, so those are year ones. Let's look at year twos. This is the second year, and that's correct. Uh, the rockiness... You know, we can definitely add another like that. And then have that for the end of the year. Um, that's year, is that was that one for year two? Yep. Um, rockiness is good, so year two, that looks good. Um, actually, it might be helpful if we just did that. I don't know if assigning that at the end of the year is good, but that's what we're doing. This is a year two. Um, we can definitely have them <coughs> get rid of the rockiness here. Uh, do that end of the year. And year two, there's no rockiness. That's perfect, perfect. Now, year three is this guy. Um, so, year three, we're done with clearing out the rockiness. We'll do this. And maybe we can add one in year two for that. Um, just to keep the weeds down. That makes sense. Yeah, let's do that, and we'll do that and that. Uh, so that's year three. 
That was that one for year three. Yep, these are year three. And we can clear those out. If I can clear out that, let's add, uh, let's add that. We don't need two, year, two of that, but that's fine. So we'll do that and add that. And then this is year three. Did I just do that already? That was the one I did. This one needs it. Um, they definitely need two of that, that, and that down. Get rid of this because I don't think that'll be needed. And then that. Okay, I'm happy with that. That should be a great rotation for these fields as far as getting wheat, um, consistent wheat, I'll say. And I'm sure we've got uh, traders coming in. But I'm really happy with that. We're uh, good. Um, what's the desirability level? It's growing. It's bad out there, but it's growing inside, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, taxes collected. And, you know, we're, we are a thriving community. But I think we're also kind of hitting the limit as far as performance um, with the size of the city. Yeah, when that raid came in. Uh, we couldn't do, well, let me say that again. Performance at full speed, right? At uh, 3x speed. It, it didn't like that raid. However, we're at two hours. Um, I'm happy with what we've done. We've built that great, 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 great uh, farm land. We've expanded that farm, and uh, we're getting rocks uh, or stone taken care of. Uh, we'll probably have to expand out our our uh, wood wood cutting area coming up i think that'll probably be our next episode is uh moving our wood production out and then in probably expanding this to kind of cover that so that's where i think we are um we need the stone for increasing these walls and then we'll figure out what we're doing about the rest of it um so yeah that's, that's about it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you like this one, uh, hit the like button. If you don't like it, you can hit the dislike button. But uh, if you have ideas of what you want me to do, any uh, suggestions as far as what we can do here, um, there I'm always open to it. So hit the comment button and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.